Hi guys, it's Lord Savine, and welcome to the second episode of One Shots. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalker 2012. This is a game that came out last week on Steam, and it looks pretty interesting. Um, I know I didn't play the first one, um, the, the first one they released, I think it was just Duels of the Planeswalker, because I think it was Xbox Live exclusive. But they released this one on Steam, and I picked it up last uh, week for 10 bucks. I think it's still available for that. But anyway, I've been playing Magic the Gathering for a very long time, since like 1994. I really, really enjoy this game. I think it's a lot of fun. And I really like the electronic aspect of it, because one of the things that about Magic the Gathering, it can be kind of hard if you are a new player or someone who doesn't have like a lot of people you know, around to play with, is getting that other player. You know, it's no fun to play by yourself. In fact, it, well, it's not impossible. You can do it, but eh. And, you know, having the uh, video games, like the Chandelier game, uh, which is an older game that's similar to this, uh, but with an RPG element, it's a lot of fun to kind of play the game through that. So for those of you who don't know, Magic the Gathering is a trading card game. It was actually the trading card game. It was before Pokemon and whatever else it happens to be popular these days. Um, it was it was the mother of all. Came out in 1993 and was created by Richard Garfield. So he is definitely a badass. But uh, it's definitely it's definitely got the card game aspect. It's just got these really beautiful 3D environments uh, that are just a lot of fun to kind of mess around with. So you've got a kind of a campaign mode so that you can go like fight all these planeswalkers. Um, and there's different arcs. There's also an online component, which I haven't messed around with too much, and a couple little extras. But I think I'm going to go against Garouk here. I think I'm going to play with... I don't have very many decks yet, because you unlock decks by playing uh, and beating other people, and then you get their deck. So I've only beaten a couple, so I'm going to play with the red deck. <laughs> One of the things that's kind of odd for us kind of older players that have been around for a long time is that the Planeswalker card type and this new focus on these main characters is so new. Kind of freaks me out. Well, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep this hand. I mulligan the first one. I'll go ahead and put out my mountain, but I, this is a slow hand, and I'm not going to mulligan twice. So it does pass back and forth, and I like the animation. And at any point in time, you can actually, like, scroll over a card and then zoom in on it. So, that's nice. Let's see, still can't do anything, so I'm going to pass the turn. I wish there was a faster way to pass priority. That'd be really nice. Looks like he's laying another forest. Is that a wall of wood? And runeclaw bears. Uh-oh, it's the 2-2 two -two bears. Yeah, they used to be grizzly bears, but not any longer, sadly. Let's see, what do I want to play here? I think I'll play this. Because it has forest walk, and he has forest, so I'm going to be able to get in for the beats. Well, what are you going to do, sir? Really? Oh, it was... Okay, so I guess he's just going to ramp up. So each of the cards have different ability abilities. For those of you who don't know magic at all, the whole point is to get the opposing Planeswalker down from 20 life to zero. So you can see in the upper right-hand corner, uh, Garak has 20 life, and down in the lower left corner, I have 20 life. And so you can do that through spells and creatures and all different kinds of interactions. But... Most games are decided through creatures, especially nowadays. Back in the day, I mean, it, you'd have spell-based decks where you just try and do a lot of damage um, one, one way or another, combo decks and things like that. But it's, it's a very deep game. In fact, it's probably one of the deepest games I've ever played, except for, like, maybe D&D. You know, it's very... It can be very complex, but at the same time, it can be very simple. I think this game... Ooh, he's bringing the beats. Uh, I don't think I want to block, though. Uh, I think this game so far has done a really good job of kind of being simple. 
You know, it doesn't get too complicated too quickly, but it does show some of the more complicated elements. Well, he brought the beats, so I might as well too. Oh, why didn't I tag? Oh, I know why I don't want to do that. Alright, so I'm getting in there. He can't block my forest walking creature, so I keep hitting him for two damage every turn. I don't think I want to block. Do I? Yeah. Normally I would block his little 2-2 creature with my 4-5 creature, but I'm pretty sure he has the giant growth. And if he doesn't, he's sure is bluffing it well. Wow, that's a that's a, an amazing creature. <laughs> Creatures have gotten so much better since I used to play. These Earth Elementals that I'm playing were actually some of the best red cards for casual players that didn't have access to, like, Shiv and Dragon. Things like that. Um, back when I played. And now they have things like Baneslayer Angel, which is ridiculous. <laughs> well, I guess I'll... Oh, I see why, because he's triple blocking, so I need to assign damage. Well, at least I got his big dude out of the way. Let's see. Okay, so Beast Hunt. That's the one that you draw five cards and then put any creature cards in your hand. Or some such nonsense like that. Uh, ooh, another Forest Walker. I'm thinking I want to play the Forest Walker. I like how the abilities kind of show up on the cards, too. Like, my two forest walkers have this little forest symbol on them. Uh, the flying cards actually float. And you can see them kind of, like, bobbing and weaving. So that's kind of nice to get kind of a visual uh, representation of what the card is doing. And what, it, what it's capable of. Good shorthand way. Hmm... You're gonna come at me with the rune claw bears? Yeah, I'm not gonna block. <laughs> I I know he has the giant growth. He wouldn't attack into that otherwise. Hmm, a three three, eh? What is that? Oh, well, too bad he doesn't have any artifacts. That'd be really nice. Hmm. I'm thinking. Beat in with the. Everything? Uh, yeah, no, this will work because he's going to be forced to block. Well, he's not going to be forced to, but he probably should. There we go. Little does he know that I have more stuff that I can play. Alrighty. What are you going to do with 8 mana? Hmm? Nothing? He's going to beast hunt again. Oh, that's going to his hand. That's going to his hand. That is not. Alright, what is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> it costs a freaking crap ton of mana. So, you can play spells from your hand by spending mana which is your lands here that says I have seven of, I can spend those to uh, cast these spells. And it kinda, that kind of tempers what you can do in the game. So I just am going to go all in. I don't see why not. I don't know if he can... Yeah, he'll live this turn. So if you're curious about any of this stuff, definitely check out Wizards of the Coast's um, channel. I think they have a channel here on YouTube. They post some random stuff, but they have some good, like, like how to, let's play, um, you know, Magic the Gathering. And it's like, it's, it's kind of corny, but it does do a good job of explaining the game, just the sheer basics of it all. Well, I, oh, another one of those 4-4s. Four -four I don't think he can do anything. I think you're dead, man. Oh, nice, I've got a haster. Excellent. Now let's do this. Swing in and you're dead, sir.
That you're you're dead now? Uh, are you really gonna have to block? Oh, I guess the, the computer's gonna make you do that. That's right. I win. Excellent. So this game's it's it's pretty fun. Uh, so far that it's kind of basic, at least for someone who's played the game for a while. But this is gonna be a really good game for new players. I can already tell. So definitely check it out. It's only 10 bucks on Steam. Uh, check out the uh, Wizards of the Coast channel to learn how to play. Otherwise, ooh, that's something really nice. Well, anyway, if you guys liked what you saw, please give it a thumb. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.